Good morning, Francis. We have come to the end of the week. Let us thank God for the many blessings we have received and the many graces that He has bestowed upon us. In this Eucharist, let us continue to pray for the end of the pandemic and for all those who are experiencing difficulties. Our presider in this celebration is Father Ruben Reyes of the Society of Na 
siya'y naglalaan Patuloy na naghahatid ng tunay na and sisters, we begin our Eucharistic celebration with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, I think it is worth our while to remind ourselves, paalalahanan natin ating mga sarili, that every time we are gathered around the table of the, the Lord for the Eucharistic celebration, we are gathered to share the word and the sacrifice of the Lord. Why share the word of the Lord? Because as the psalmist says, the words of the Lord are spirit and life. Sila ang nakapagbibigay ng buhay sa atin. In this as you, go, as you make your in-service training, I think we need divine intervention. Mga tao tayo, kung minsan nauwal ng tayo ng uh, kapangyarihan para magpatuloy, subalit kailangan natin ang tulong ng Panginoon upang sa gayon ay tayo ay magpatuloy sa ating mga ginagawa bilang mga ba, mga ipinagkaloob sa atin ng Panginoon sa pag-aalaga sa atin para sa ating mga nakababatang mga kapatid. So I invite you all to make ourselves again aware uh, that we are gathered in the name of the Lord to share His Word and His Sacrament. Tayo ay hindi lamang tinatawag upang makinig sa mga salita ng Panginoon, tayo ay tinawag rin upang makiisa sa Kanya. Nang sa gayon, ang ginagawa natin ay hindi galing sa atin, kundi galing sa Panginoon. My brothers and sisters, with this thought in mind then, let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins, asking the Lord for His pardon and His forgiveness so that we may be found worthy. Makimahanapan tayong kaaya-aya at sang ayon sa tawag ng Panginoon upang makiisa sa Kanya. And therefore, my brothers and sisters, with sorrow in our hearts, we pray, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, to and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us gathered here. May he forgive us our sins, and may he bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Let us be mindful of all our intentions for those people whom we love and we want to pray for, for those people whom we promise 
our prayers for those who have recommended themselves to our prayers. Grant, O Lord, our God and Father, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. We humbly ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God the Almighty. Walk in my presence and be blameless. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you that you must keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. God further said to Abraham, As for your wife, Sarai, do not call her Sarai. Her name shall be Sarah. I will bless her, and I will give you a son by her. Him also will I bless. He shall give rise to nations, and rulers of peoples shall issue from him. Abraham prostrated himself and laughed as he said to himself, Can a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Or can Sarah give birth at ninety? Then Abraham said to God, let but Ishmael live on by your favor. God replied, Nevertheless, your wife Sarah is to bear you a son, and you shall call him Isaac. I will maintain my covenant with him as an everlasting pact, to be his God and the God of his descendants after him. As for Ishmael, I am heeding you, I hereby bless him. I will make him fertile and will multiply him exceedingly. He shall become the father of twelve chieftains, and I will make of him a great nation. But my covenant I will maintain with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you by this time next year. When he had finished speaking with him, God departed from Abraham. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walks in His way, for you shall eat the fruit of your hard work. Blessed you shall be and favored. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recess of your home. Your children be like olive plants around your table. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Behold thus in the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from the Zion. You may see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Let us honor the Holy Gospel. Christ took away our infirmities and bear our diseases.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And let us open our minds and hearts to the proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached him, did him homage, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I will do it. Be clean, be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. And then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, allow me to share some thoughts, maybe disjointed, maybe separated, but perhaps with the grace of God, we will be able to see and make these things work during this in-service training that you are going through very basic points that perhaps we could reflect on. The first one is this. During this past week, the uh, first reading is about the call of Abraham. Ang tawag ng Panginoon kay Abraham. As we know, our Christian faith starts with the Jewish, with this event in which God calls Tinawag ng Panginoon si Abraham. It always starts with a call. Tahimik na ang buhay ni Abraham, tinawag siya ng Panginoon. Dadaling kita sa isang lupa, I'll bring you to a new land. And not only does God tell people that He will bring them to a new land, He promises His blessings upon them. If you are familiar with the book of Genesis, starting with the call of Abraham, you know that the Lord made this covenant with Abraham, and he assures him not only that he will give land, not only that he will give uh, Abraham many children, many blessings, he, uh, he assures them that he will give them other things besides. I don't know whether you, re you reflect on or you remember the story of Abraham, but this story is told us because this is the shape of our Christian lives. Tayo ay tinatawag ng Panginoon. Kung susunod tayo, ipagkakalog niya sa atin ang kanyang mga biyaya. Pag hindi, niya, pag hindi tayo susunod sa kanya, hindi tayo makakabahagi sa kanyang mga biyaya. Now, if this is something that could be expected from the God of the Old Testament, kung ito ay nakikita natin sa Diyos ng lumang tipan, nakikita rin natin ang, uh, ang generosity ng Panginoon sa bagong tipan, Sa ating ebanghelyo nga, makikita natin, we see Jesus approached by a leper and after telling him his situation, if you wish, you can make me clean. Ano ang nangyari? The gospel tells us, he stretched out his hand, touched him and said, I will do it. Be made clean. And after that, the gospel tells us, and his leprosy was cleansed immediately. Isa sa mga biyaya, one of the blessings during this uh, pandemic that, uh, that I have personally experienced is really, you are, you, you are given more time 
at least I found my I found myself I had more time to pray. I had more time to pray. Why do I say this? Because with the passage of time, dumaan yung mga kan, maraming nangyari. May mga, may mga kamag-anak akong nagkaroon ng COVID. Hindi, hindi alam kung magagaling hindi, alanganin, mabu, mabubuhay ba, o gagaling ba, o ano. But I found myself praying for them. And after praying for them, you hear the news that they got well. And it's always with a with with sense of gratitude that you listen and hear stories about people like that. So, the first point is really God is generous. And I hope as you undergo uh, this, uh, this, uh, this in-service training, you will realize how God is generous with you and that you will be, uh, be able to be generous with God as well in taking care of the young people entrusted to us. Secondly, the other thing that I need that I shared with you is awareness. Maybe one of the things that we should be looking at is awareness. Maybe you are familiar with this. We have been, in the past, we have been, uh, we have been uh, familiar with the awareness exercises of Father Anthony de Mello. Because sometimes we find ourselves that we are not aware. Minsan galit na galit na tayo para sa sayibatan. Hindi ako nagagalit. But actually, everything is there. Galit ka. Why is it that those things happen? Because we are not aware. We are not aware and that therefore we have to be more aware. That is why it's good to realize, that's why I said at the beginning of Mass, let us be aware that we have been gathered to share the word and the sacrament of the Lord. Bakit ko sinasabi yun? Because sometimes we need to make ourselves conscious. Kasi kumisan, lumilipad ang ating isip. That therefore sometimes we do not know what we are doing. Or maybe we know what we are doing, but it's, we are not conscious about it. And that is why perhaps, that is what I share in your task and mission of forming young minds. Yung mga, mga batang ipinagkakaloob sa atin, mak, makita natin na tayo ay binibigan ng pagkakataon upang maibahagi natin sa pamamagitan ng being aware of all these things. Matulungan natin ang ating mga kabataan na lumaki bilang mga nilikha ng Panginoon ayon sa kanyang kalooban. Katulad din ng ating Ebanghelyo ngayon, ano ang ginawa ng leper? Hindi niya sinabing, gawin mo ako agad, pagkalingin mo ako agad. Ano ang approach niya? If you wish, you can make me clean. The point being that kailangan natin makita ang ating pangangailangan. We cannot demand from the Lord. We are not entitled. All we can do is humble ourselves before the Lord and say, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Maging mapagkumbaba tayo at kung matayo ay magiging mapagkumbaba, gagawin ng Panginoon para sa atin ang kanyang himala. Madali lang naman sinasabi ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, tell no one about this, but go show yourself to the priest. Pangatlo, mga kapatid, ay uh, ang ginagawa natin, naniniwala ako na sa inyong pagsasama, sa inyong pag-in-service training, gusto ninyong ibigay ang karunungan, wisdom, sa ating mga bata. At sige, pa, para, sige, para na rin sa, para sa ating mga sarili. Ang eskwela, ang uh, paaralan ay laging, uh, laging nakaugnay sa Wisdom, karunungan. Let me share with you a little poem that I have learned from my 
younger days about wisdom. It is composed of four lines, but I hope it will be something that could uh, guide us, guide you in guiding the young people that is entrusted to you. The four lines, that the first line is, maganda is English eh, but let me give it in full and then let's take it one by one. The, the, the uh, poem is entitled Wisdom and it goes, he who knows not and knows not, he knows not, he is a fool, shun him. He who knows not and knows he knows not, he is a child, teach him. He who knows and knows not he knows, he is asleep, wake him. He who knows and knows he knows, he is a leader, follow him. The first line, he who knows not and knows not he knows not. Ang taong hindi marunong, katapos hindi niya paalam na hindi siya marunong, yun ay isang taong hindi natin binibigan ng pansin. They are fools, sabi nga. Wala nang alam, hindi pa niya lang alam na wala siyang alam. Yun ang mga hindi natin binibigan ng pansin. Kaya sabi nga sa English, shun him. Baliwala niyo. Pangalawa, he who knows not and knows he knows not. Yung taong hindi marunong, pero alam niya na hindi siya marunong, siya ay isang bata na kailangan nating turuan. He is a child, teach him. Pangatlo, he who knows and knows not he knows. Yung taong marunong, subalit, hindi niya alam na siya ay marunong. He is asleep. At natutulog. Anong gagawin natin? Gisingin. And he who knows and knows he knows. Ang taong marunong, alam niyang marunong siya, siya ay isang leader. Sumunod tayo sa kanya. Maybe before we continue with our in-service let us turn back, uh, let's turn on ourselves and see whether we have that sense of wisdom. And if not, then let us humble ourselves before the Lord and ask the grace for such wisdom. Sapagkat itong ibig sabihin ng education, ano bang ibig sabihin ng education? Education sa grade school, education sa high school, education sa college. The word education comes from the Latin word e, which means out of, and duco, ducere, Latin words for to lead. So, educare is to lead out of. What do you lead? We lead our young people out of. We do not lead, leave them out of, we do not lead them out of the house. We lead them out of ignorance so that they will know. And I want, I would wish that we, you, molders of young people, would be aware of this mission that you are being led, that you will lead out of ignorance these people, these young minds that is entrusted to us. Sa pagiging isang uh, ma, uh, uh, teacher, inako natin, tinanggap natin ang responsibilidad na ito. Na tayo ay magiging mga nagtuturo. We are teachers. Sabi nga ni, ni St. Matthew sa kanyang uh, Sermon on the Mount, Judge not so that you will, be, you will not be judged. Hindi tayo mga maghusga, tayo ay mga teachers. We are mentors. And maybe it will be worth our while to keep that in mind 
that we are supposed to be teachers, mentors, guiding our young people and not judging them. As we continue then with our Eucharistic celebration, let us be once again look to the source of all wisdom. When you reflect on that small poem, Wisdom, we find out that really Jesus clearly is the wisdom of God. He is one who knows who knows. And that there, because he knows, he knows. Therefore, he is a leader. And because he is a leader, we follow him. Let us all stand then, my sisters and brothers, and let us present our petitions to Almighty Father on this Friday of the 12th week in ordinary time. Lord, hear our prayer. Gospel who cried out that the church may never fail in its duty of welcome. Like the leper in the gospel who cried out for healing, we now approach our Heavenly Father as a group of teachers, staff, and faculty with confidence that our prayers will be answered. To him we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may never fail in its duty of welcoming the marginalized and those excluded from society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may guide those involved in medical research and finding remedies for incurable diseases. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That our community may reach out with love and care to people ignored by society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick the deprived, and the lonely may find support from their Christian Britain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may be received in the Lord's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray for our personal intentions of our families and community as well as those who ask for our prayers. Let us pray in a special way for Mrs. Weng Andrada and Miss Kate Peregrina who will celebrate their birthdays on Sunday. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for Father Salty. I'm sure he is guiding us from above. May this uh, in service be through his prayers, also open our minds and hearts so that we will be more aware of the mission that the Lord has given us. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your love for us never changes or fades away. Give us the courage to walk in your presence all the days of our life. We humbly ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us then pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, yours and mine, may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you. We humbly ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Jesus the Christ our Lord. And so in company with the saints, with the choirs of angels and saints, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time uh, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat we this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, cup, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, the clergy, the men and women who work for your kingdom. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially those whom we remember at Mass today. Welcome them into the light 
of your faith. We pause for a moment of silence as we commend to the love and mercy of God our Father the souls of our dearly departed ones. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Ignatius, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him <laughs> and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, with grateful hearts then, we raise our minds and our hearts and hands and pray to our Father in the words our Lord himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we, our families and loved ones, may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church gathered here, and grant us graciously her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The love and the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share Christ's gift of peace with one another. And may the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Bring eternal life to us who receive them. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let this not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. Sisters and brothers, this is the Lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to his sacred banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask for your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. We humbly ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Our Eucharist has been celebrated. Let us serve him and let us serve one another. Thanks be to God.
Before we end, we would like to thank the following who helped set up our Mass today. Our Assistant Headmaster for Formation, Mrs. Kabakungan, and CMO SIO team. Our Facilities Management and Security Office, especially Mang Buboy, Kuya Mike, and Kuya Ken. Our Katigbak Educational Media Center, our Mass Readers, and of course, our presider, Father Ruben Reyes of the Society of Jesus, for celebrating the Mass for us. We would like to thank everyone tuning in to our Mass today. Let us continue to pray for an end to this pandemic.